What's going on? This is AR Shaw here with one of those Nick Cannon. What's on, man? My oh, man, how are you? Everything's good, man. So, we back in here while now. Another season. Yeah, Atlanta, ATL, season 14. We getting it in. Man, how does it feel, man? Because, man, you, you know, man, you. It's one of the longest, funnest <laughs> series. Yeah, for real. I mean, it's it's a blessing, man, more than anything. Because even when I created the show originally, it was just to give my friends jobs and opportunities. It, it never felt like work either, though. Like, it was just like, yo, this is what we do in comedy clubs, when we freestyling backstage at concerts and stuff. And I just kind of brought comedy, hip hop, and improv together. Uh, growing up, watching stuff like in Living Color, Uptown Comedy Club, Def Jam, obviously. And I was just like, yo, what's that for this generation? And, you know, I didn't know what we would surpass, you know, all of that just based off of the amount of episodes. I mean, ultimately, by the time this is all said and done, it'll be over 300 episodes. Oh, no. no. Man, you like launched so many careers, man. Like, <laughs> just like the fact that you can like help so many people out here, you got to go on SNL, right? Like, yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, yeah. Like, Nah, it's crazy, man. And I don't even like to take credit for it because I feel like I'm just providing a platform for, sure. you know, these super talented people. If I can take credit for anything, it's just actually just paying attention to the streets and paying attention to what's buzzing. Like, I, mm -hmm. I see who's blowing up online. You know, I see who's the next rapper coming into the game or the next comedian that's killing the clubs. And then I just go meet them and talk to them and vibe them out. And then we put them in the gauntlet of our workshops. And if they rise to the top, then they on the show. Like, who, like, I mean, there's so many talented comedians. Like, how do you know when like a guy is like, oh, guy or a gal has like I mean, it's really those workshops are more than anything. You get in those workshops and you're around everybody from DC Young Fly to Chico Bean to, you know, Justina, all of those people. And if they hold their own with them, they're the best of the best and they're going to definitely do it. Man, so when you started the show, we didn't really have social media. Like, how did <laughs> social media kind of like help you? Because this is a few guys who yeah. social media they kind of put themselves out there how did that change the game it changed the game all the way for the talent discovery i used to just have to like go to the clubs and hear about it or somebody have to call and tell me but now i can just go to someone's social media page i can go online and be like yo who's the funniest person on the internet and then i just my inbox just gets swarmed of just like all of these people i should check out so it's that process is easier but then even like the, the topics and the things we talk about because everything is so social media driven that even when I'm creating the games and stuff, I'm thinking like, all right, is this gonna go viral? All right, well, well is this a topic that aligns with what they doing on this platform and that platform? So it's definitely changed the game for the better. Out of all the guests that you've had, like, is there anybody who you want that hasn't been on this stage? Oh man, Eminem. Oh. <laughs> I wanted him to come on this show so bad. Uh, I think it just, just be a better a, yeah yeah exactly it'd just be dope yeah. uh will smith too oh, you know yeah, will. Yeah. Will, will. yeah those <laughs> those would probably be like the two dream cats that i would want to be on the show definitely, definitely. Yeah. i gotta uh switch a little bit man yo what you doing bro? 50 cent too because oh, he be talking gang of shit <laughs> 50. come on let your boy yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Get, get the playing. strap <laughs> get the strap <laughs> um i gotta talk about some of this stuff man you stepped up for nip man you was like oh yeah. yeah that was that was real powerful for me yeah, absolutely, man. I mean, and it's more than anything. We, we lost such a, a powerful spirit in our community. Uh, I'm still wanting to give enough time to the family and to all the fans to focus on him. But I mean, I think everybody's adopted the Marathon Continuous concept. So, you know, I know we have some similar interests specifically in the space of health and wellness. So I'm like, I'm gonna just keep keep that rocking and keep spreading that message. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, for, for you as an entrepreneur, I mean, like, like you know, because he was different on that entrepreneur too. Like, for you, like, what advice do you have? Like, keep your head, put yourself into so many places. Like, how do you still um, keep? Uh, you know what? I, can, I kind of been doing it from the gate. You know, I started off as a kid just hustling out here. So it's almost like you got to keep cooking while the pot is hot. And if it makes a lot of sense, you just jump in. You know what I mean? So, uh, like, I'm, I just have an entrepreneurial spirit and the fact that it aligns up so much with entertainment, so whether it's producing, whether it's coming up with products, whether it's ownership in real estate, like, it, it's just, it's a mentality that you birthed in, especially when you come up with nothing. You know what I mean? You want to get as much as you can. Yeah, definitely. You have a movie? Um, yeah, man, we got a bunch of movies. Uh, but the one I'm probably most excited about is She Boss, myself, Chris Brown, Birdman, DC Young Fly, Cedric Entertainment. Evan Ross, uh, so many people, man. It's a great cast, but it's about uh, female basketball, so it's gonna be lit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we had this thing called Motivation Monday today. Yeah. You know, 
looking at Sam. Motivation. Motivating on dominating every level. That's model. Uh, but you can't just be any kind of model. You got to be a real model, not a role model, because a role is something you play. Be real at all times. You model up. Rolling out was popping. It's your man, Nick Cannon. You know we wilding out. Stay ready. Hey.